Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another tutorial video. And this time I'm going to be rooting the Galaxy S7 Edge AT&T Edition. Now normally the AT&T and Verizon editions of this phone, they couldn't be rooted because of the Qualcomm chip that was in it. However, now there's a root method available. I'm going to show you guys how to do this if you haven't already figured it out. First off, you're going to need all of these four files right here. And I'll put the link for each of them in the description below. Now you're going to extract the fastboot zip and the odin zip. Now after that you're going to go in the settings of the phone right here. Go to system about device. Tap on build number until you see that developer mode is enabled. Tap on developers options. Turn on OEM unlock and turn on USB debugging. After that, turn your phone off. The next thing we're gonna do is put the phone in download mode. So it's home button, volume down, and the power button. Then volume up to continue. Connect it to the computer like so. Put that down, open Odin, right click, run as administrator. Now once you see this right here light up in blue, that means you're good to go. So click on AP and you're going to look for the modified Samsung file that we downloaded earlier. So for me it's right here, just click on this, click open and then click start. It takes less than five seconds. You should be good. So that's step one, done. Now just wait a while for your phone to come on. If it doesn't come on or it does a boot loop, just go into the recovery mode and do a factory reset. I'll give it like five minutes and wait for it to come up. If not, I'll do a factory reset. All right, so now that you're back up, just go again into the settings menu. Scroll back over, you're gonna turn on procedure again. Go into the developer options. Make sure that this is on and this is on. Connect the phone to the computer once more. Now go to where you have your folders, unzip the Super SU zip. And you're gonna copy everything here. And put it in your fastboot folder. So copy and paste everything in the fastboot folder. Then you're gonna open a command window right here. So hold on on shift. Right click, click on open command window here, type in AV devices just to make sure that everything is checked. On your phone, select allow. And you should see a serial number right here and the word device right here. I want you to see that, just type root dot v a t and press enter wait for it to do its thing and just make sure that you have the phone awake so that if there's any prompt you can click on it wait for it to do its thing it might take a little while but just be patient It's going to restart and as you see, you have the custom unlock. Let's check to see if we have Super SU and yes we do. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and download Root Checker. Now this is an app I always use to verify that Root is working perfectly on whatever device I'm using. Next thing you're gonna do is test to see if the root work. Verify root. Brand. And that's it. Congrats, you now have root. So because of how we modified the system to gain root, it might make the phone lag a bit. So what we're gonna do to resolve this is download two additional apps. The first one is BusyBox. Go ahead and grant. Let's X that out. Now right here, where it says where it's gonna be installed, make sure you take a system X bin. You could go ahead and click install. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go into an app called Trickster Mod. Now in this app, what we're gonna do is set the CPU governor to interactive. So go to general, where it says governor right here, select interactive and click the tick. Also go into settings and make sure kernel settings is checked. That way, whenever you reboot the device, it will already load the settings that you've selected previously. So that's it. We probably can just do a quick little reboot, make sure everything is good. Okay, so we just restarted, but then I realized that the Wi-Fi, it forgot the password. And this is a little issue that happens when you modify a system like this. Now all we're gonna do is download a build editor app. So go ahead, open that up. We're gonna scroll down and look for ro.securestorage.support. Maybe you can search for it. So type in ro.secure. All right, there it is. So we're, all we're gonna do is just change this from true to false. Save, grant, and that's it. We're gonna restart and test if this worked, okay? So the Wi-Fi did work, it didn't work right away. I had to put the password in, restart again, and it did work the second time. But my battery died, so if you see the time, that's the reason why. But um, that's it, the Wi-Fi works fine. And we can test the root once more, just to verify. And there you go. Now, if your phone is still lagging, what you can do is freeze a particular app. So what you're gonna do is download Titanium Backup. You can download the free version or the paid one. However, the free one won't allow you to freeze the app, but you can uninstall it. So right here, just search for security log agent. Now what you can do is just back it up and then uninstall the app. Because to freeze it, you need to donate it. So go ahead and uninstall. And you should be good. As long as your S7 or S7 Edge is a Qualcomm based device, it should work. So that's it guys. That's how you route a Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge on an AT&T network. So for all of you Flashaholics who love to install your favorite custom ROMs or your favorite root apps, well, happy routine. As always, my name is Dacoin and I'll catch you in the next one. Zine.